It's still dim? It's running. Here. Go ahead, take it. Oh. Well, you run it. <laughs> Three Stooges. Here we have a 1933 Atwater Kent. Model 217. And commonly known to collectors as the Cathedral Radio. Next to it is its slightly older brother, a 1931 Model 80. Uh, they both work, although they'll be loaded with static because fluorescent lights and dimmers. Yeah. This could cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call And she works. At the lowest that prices. was Never pay needing a lot of cabinet work. I'm not a professional by any means. I just kind of keeping it original, put pieces of veneer in that you can't really tell, especially in the darker uh, room. And we have some other radios in here on a shelf there, some Philco's and a Zenith, cathedrals, tombstones. we got ourselves a GED on up there. Is it plugged in? I'll have to turn that on. I'll give it some uh, one out the camera there. Uh, yeah. There, is uh, there you go. GE sign. Nice. Not too shabby. There's an Atwater Kent breadboard down there with yeah. a bunch of VCR tape stuck on it if you get a little better. Light. Does that thing work? Yep. One of these good old days. Uh, we'll have to power that up again. That's a 1923 Atwater Kent breadboard. Mm. I did fix that. It runs the horn up there. Uh -huh. hmm. And they were originally battery powered because people didn't, uh, the companies didn't have the ability to make radios plug in because they couldn't figure out how to get uh, DC until they came out with rectifiers. I'd love to get one of those. Oh, I, would, I wouldn't even mind the second one. <laughs> and over here is a Skooky Cat. Skooky. Who's resting. I've noticed that most people, so many people on YouTube who are collectors always seem to have cats. I don't get it, but it's great. A couple dog lovers, too. Then we have uh, the cat... <laughs> <laughs> He's running away. We have a camera shy Richie with the wisp standing up. You want to come out, Richie? He's running away. Well, we have more uh, good stuff in here, too. We got him. No, I didn't. Oh. Oh, wait, there he is. <laughs> He's running there, away. He's hiding in the bathroom. We'll catch him. We got a couple of units here. We're still running. And the uh, we got to get better lighting. We got a 48 Holocrafters TV, 49 Pilot with the eyeball on it. That's the uh, actually a liquid filled lens. If you close up on that. Liquid filled. One. Yep. There's uh, oil of that, and it uh, makes it look like a bigger picture. There he is. Oh, no, ran away again. <laughs> Unbelievable. And there's a GE from about 1951. It's unusual mm. in that it's a metal cabinet, and it's a little different than most GE stuff. Really? It's in oh. good shape, too. Hmm. And it's actually not printed circuit board, which GE was pretty famous with uh, once they figured that one out. And then we have our very Mediterranean RCA, circa 1960 portable 17-inch TV. I don't know whether it's the Greek motif or what. It has the uh, pattern around it. And then above it is your mid-60s, which everybody remembered <laughs> when they had a memory. And uh, that's a small little panoramic. Then we have a little uh, poster of a woman holding GE light bulbs in colors, if you close up on that one. About 1956, you could buy various colored light bulbs. Actually, the green one that was on Lucy, when Ricky put it in the lamp, it'd be right from that era. Okay.
case. That's it.